Christ, your girl Karina here, and happy Blessed Thursday! It's still today! It is an awesome day and a wonderful day! It's a brand new day and I'm so excited because why? Every day is a brand new blessing and so we first must be grateful and just offer thanksgiving to God for another day to glorify His day through us despite of our busy schedules. You know, we gotta keep on trying and always doing the best that we can to the best of our capabilities, right? And then, yeah, if you feel weak or fatigue or like this almost at the verge of feeling burned out, just be like, God, help me, Lord, stay with me. I want to you stay with me. Help me to do what you want me to do. Trust me, you'll feel a difference. You'll feel a difference. It's like you had a cup of coffee or like a Red Bull, like a shot of Red Bull. <laughs> and trust me, when you surround yourself with like people with so much energy too, even that itself, was actually is actually a source of energy because true story true story this past weekend i was actually told by my siblings in christ that it was like around 10 30 in the morning and we were heading to like to pray the rosary together outside at a rally and not gonna lie not gonna lie both of them told me the exact same thing it's like i'm a cup of coffee and i'm like a shot of red bull in the morning and <laughs> Because they forgot to drink coffee on the way over, so that's why I was just super hilarious. Yeah, so that's why just spread your energy, get that source of energy from the people around you. Surround yourself with the right people to give you the right energy to nurture your faith and to grow more. Not with people that will drain you and will anchor you down away from Christ, but with people that will just inspire you and encourage you to grow closer to Christ and that's basically our goal and a responsibility and to be accountable for ourselves in our faith and to not allow ourselves to be sucked into the world and immerse in ourselves in the world and then forgetting our faith right like I was just talking about this to a sister in Christ of mine the other day and definitely for sure we have to and we must surround ourselves in the right environment for us to nurture our faith every day so that we will continuously believe in Christ and believe in God and believe our Blessed Mother Mary either way possible. And from that point on, you, the Lord will help you grow when you try, right? You can't just sit around and wait for God to like sprinkle it over you like a fairy does. No, you gotta try your part and God will help you as you proceed and try to follow God's will and God's plan and God's time for everything, right? So that's why, despite of you feeling in the verge, at the verge, like standing off on the cliff of quitting a ministry or just stepping down from a ministry, honestly, take a step up to the plate. Step up to the plate. Try your best as long as you know for sure that you're doing it for our Lord, our Lady, and God, our Father. And that's one important thing that we should not do is to quit and to yield on quitting because why? That's what the enemy wants us to do, to quit anything that is working to build God's kingdom. Anything that works, the enemy will be on your case every single day to the point of when you're actually giving up. So when you give up, stepping down, that means you're allowing the enemy to win. You're allowing the enemy to take control of you and you're allowing the enemy to use you to walk one step farther away from Christ and that is what we need to not do right like despite of yeah like you could be going through a lot of stress or you could be going through a lot of struggles right now yeah but you offer it to the Lord you surrender yourself to the Lord even more right you try even harder you don't give up just when things are tough you don't give up on God just because things are becoming tough and struggling and a time to struggle for you. No, because why? God will never give up on you. So that is why you never should not give up or step down to any ministry that God calls you to minister and to lead and create because that is what God's calling you to do. God's not calling you to quit. Unless, you know, otherwise. But you'll really know. You'll really know. But when you know from the bottom of your heart that a ministry is really growing, the glory and grace of God for blessing Mary in Jesus Christ, be sure and be 100% aware that the enemy will use people closest to you to blind your vision, to blind your clarity, to blur your clarity and thinking straight and thinking with clear clearness to really know and how to make decisions, right? And that's why it's very important to surround yourself with the right people and to talk to the right people, especially spiritual director and whatnot, so that you will stay on the right track, right? 
Because once the enemy has a control over you, it will be even harder and harder to detach. It will be harder to see what you need to see. And it will be way harder to make that sacrifice, to detach from the world and to be closer to Christ. So that is why you step up to the plate. You don't step down to the plate. You step up to the plate knowing that you can do it and you have the courage within your heart to do it. Not the wimp side of you. That's why turn your blind eye to those that will discourage you from ministry work, but to those that will encourage you and will give you the strength from your heart to do what it takes to be that true word for Christ, to be that true disciple of Christ that God calls you to do and to be every single day. And therefore, it's a constant journey through storms, through battles, through trials, through tribulations, through our crosses, through our struggle times. But it's well worth it to the very end. And the journey doesn't stop until God calls you back home, which is at any hour, any minute. So therefore, we have to be ready. We must be ready to always fight the good fight as true words of Christ do every day. Not falling into temptation, not falling into quitting. Because as I always love to tell myself and remind myself every day, that quitting is not an option. Like, yeah, if God closed the door on you, then obviously that's, that's God's will. But if you decide to step down on a ministry, that's a whole nother story. It's like you telling God, nope, I got other things to do that has nothing to do with you. And just saying I'm totally distracted by something else rather than me focusing on you your son Jesus and a blessed woman Mary. And that's very important that we keep ourselves accountable and surrounding ourselves with the right people to nurture our faith and to not distract us, to be in the midst of the spinning world. So try my friends, try, try, try. The battle is real, the war is real. And that's why you have to be able to spend time with Christ as much as you can to distinguish the clarity of what God's will is and what is not of God. One of the clue things of way, a way of knowing that if it's of God's plan is that if you're changing for the better, you're bearing fruit as a true warrior and as a true disciple. You're seeing God's work right before your eyes. You're seeing more people become inspired to pray together. You'll see it right before your eyes. You'll see God's work in God's time. That's how you will know. That's just one of the ways to know that that's God's will. But if you fall into the world, put God's second over under your own plans and your priorities, you'll see how much distracted you will be. You will see how restless you'll be. You will see how much more struggles you will go through even more. And then causing you to make irrational decisions, causing you to be more distracted of other things other than where you need to be and what you need to do to build God's kingdom. So that is why focus. Keep your eye on the prize of God. When you feel that sense of restlessness, wake up. Wake up and realize and smell the rose of our blessed Mother Mary to help you realize that this is not what God wants for you. He wants you to do something better and to be better and to grow better as a person. Not acting out of character, not acting because of pride or selfish reasons before the sole purpose of glorifying God's name and kingdom through you. When you have that as your objective and your main goal of living every day, watch how God will bless you more. Watch how all your problems will start to fade in God's time. But I'm not saying that your life will be pitch perfect. The reason God, God permits storms and battles and frustrations and confusion and times of hardship is for you to cleanse and to get rid of those things that keep on holding you back and attaching yourself to the world. 
God tries to help you wake up every day. But it's only what your pride that is the biggest obstacle that prevents you from pursuing what God wants you to pursue. That's why. Try. Try, get up, wake up, and step up to the plate. Whatever God places in your life to pursue, you pursue it. Whatever God doesn't place in your life that he doesn't want you to pursue, let it go. And then you will see how much better you will feel. Trust me. Just let God lead you and you'll see how your life will change. You will see how your perspective on life will be so much different than, than how you looked at it yesterday. So with that said, may God bless you all. I'm so proud and grateful for each and every one of you watching the, this video. Thank you for so much for your support. And if you have not already subscribed, please do. So, <laughs> and let me know if there's any songs that you guys want me to give a shot. I am more than happy to do so. And may God bless you all. And as I love to say in all my videos, don't be afraid to be true words of Christ. Bye! Oh my